hello everyone uh, welcome back to this uh, video series and in this web design course we will be designing a delivery website especially for those uh, local restaurants okay this will be the template that we are going to replicate or we are going to yeah okay i have already installed a wordpress 5.i2 okay here and i've also installed few plugins that we need for this website and for the reservation or ordering uh, for the ordering system we'll be uh, uh, using we're going to use woocommerce okay so i have already installed woocommerce and elementor elementor pro for designing uh, WooCommerce pages or header footer of the website we are going to use element uh, pro team builder and this is for UPI payment especially for those uh, Indian subcontinent who are using U UPI payment for online transactions and this medical add-on for element uh, this is not be the base uh, uh, plugin or widget for designing websites but this is one of the most comprehensive uh, plugin this is a free plugin with a comprehensive uh, uh, widgets that cover almost everything we need to design a small company website or personal website as you can see here uh, list of uh, yeah all, all these widgets or compound widgets are all those things basic needs uh, to design a company website or personal website okay okay so we are going to use these uh, five plugins and if okay then let's go to pages and let's create the pages that we need okay this will these are the default woocommerce pages so let's edit this uh, sample first let's send sample to home page uh, element full white update it okay then a new menu for a restaurant or food ordering website menu is very important and so publish this and new About us, I'm gonna forward publish. Okay, yeah, new. Gallery. I'm gonna forward publish. Once again, a new contact base. Okay, element full wide publish. Okay, then appearance oh, for us. Uh, I forgot to mention the theme we are using nav uh, nav team here this is a free team why i am using this team here i i think uh, nav team is one of the middle 
middle uh, in the middle uh, of the team wordpress teams because uh, between starter teams and uh, complex multi-purpose teams many of these multi-purpose teams have lots of tons of features beautiful features but uh, it also it also make it plotted most of those features we do not need and we do not use since we are designing the wordpress website with page builders like elementor most of those uh, team features we do not uh, need them so those multi-purpose websites uh, well, the sorry teams we do not need it and and so most of the wordpress developers or professional designers use starter teams like element uh, yeah uh, element starter team or uh, wordpress default 20, uh, 2021 team but major drawback of this wordpress uh, starter team is that it is very basic it does not have any uh, <laughs> styling options that uh, we need for blog page or woocommerce shop page here uh, this uh, multi-purpose teams have uh, default basic or there's a usable commonly uh, common layouts for the shop page or woocommerce account page and those uh, blog page etc so if we do not have the know-how skill or the time to design uh, those uh, one default pages woocommerce pages or blog pages then we can use this uh, themes so uh, this nev, nev theme i think it is one in the middle between starter themes and multi-purpose uh, basic complex themes so it is one of these multi-purpose themes but uh, it is not that bloated uh, so so I'm tr I'm you know, using this uh, for a while. Okay, and here let's uh, design menu. Let's pass design the main menu. This is build the primary menu, create menu. Okay, then here let's select form about contact gallery menu. Okay, add to menu. menu to the second page gallery to the tar about in contact okay same menu okay let's create another menu create menu This will be the footer menu. So it's footer menu, create menu. And in this footer menu, we'll use, for example, card, checkout, contact, my account, show page. And if you have a uh, yeah, privacy policy page, terms and conditions, disclaimer pages, you can edit on the footer menu. Uh, mostly when I make this uh, web design course, I do not add those disclaimer or terms and condition pages, but uh, especially privacy policy page is a basic need for every website. You can just drop that, uh, copy a draft or privacy policy and customize it according to your needs and just create a page uh, we do not need uh, any design for the privacy policy page just uh, the privacy policy page uh, terms and condition text okay so that's why I do not uh, <laughs> include them in the design because it is uh, quite simple okay same menu 
Now we have created two menu, one for the main menu at the top header and one for the footer menu. Okay, that's it. Now uh, we'll let's go to customize or nav options. And what we can do here with these options logo. Uploading logo and uploading pivicon or pivot icon or changing website names we should do that here here we can upload logo or we can arrange block layouts Add a sense logo here. We can upload logo and display logo or style. We can choose it from here. But uh, we are going to design the header or the footer using Elementor Pro Team Builder. Uh, so we do not uh, need uh, need to choose the design. You just have to upload the logo here. But and using Elementor Pro Team Builder is not uh, it's not only the source you can also use this team header and design a beautiful website yeah you do not have to depend on Elementor Pro or any team uh, page builders for design header and footer all the time but anyway we're, we're going to design it uh, to show the possibilities I'm going uh, I'm not going to upload the logo but I'm going to upload Pavicon or Pavicon icon here. Let's upload it. Select file. Here it is. Here. Okay, now we have Pivicon here. Pivicon is very important. <laughs> okay, publish it. then okay now we go to the settings let's start from general setting i think most of you are familiar with wordpress and wordpress setting but for those beginners uh, let's do a little quick walkthrough here you can change your WordPress website for delivery, for example, and num number one, put delivery services in the area or in India, whatever. And any one can register. This is what um, WooCommerce website so select this so anyone can register um, set, send this and if you want to change the language or time zone you can change it here uh, or time format that format uh, we can start on all these settings these things are not much of important in the design but for <laughs> but sometimes it affects our website especially if you're using woocommerce 
that format or time zone everything is very important since uh, okay uh, for uh, the local e-commerce website e-commerce websites like uh, food delivery is not much so important because our shipping zone will be in the local area uh, much not be important but if you are uh, if this e-commerce website woocommerce website is going to sell this product throughout the country or throughout the world then uh, time zone is very important to calculate the shipping or any other real, uh, transaction related calculations so time zone that format are, uh, are very all are uh, points to consider but for today uh, leave the default okay, writing not much to send just leave the default go to reading okay let's set a static front page home page okay set changes media okay this is default thumbnail size once you upload an image wordpress will generate thumbnails according to the, uh, these sizes okay you again use this size to design your wordpress website okay uh, there is not much to change here especially for those uh, WooCommerce websites, uh, this thumbnail size is okay. But if you are designing a company website, then you are going to uh, large thumbnail sizes. Then you can change starting from here, trend into trend, six forty into six forty, uh, and the likes. You can customize the thumbnail layout. Okay, permanent links. I, I think. I think this permanent link uh, gives us the options to choose how our website url looks like but i think uh, wordpress can uh, simplify this setting by default you can uh, set this uh, sample post or post name uh, url from it most of us especially for me i have been using only this uh, url format since starting from uh, starting since I started using WordPress to design websites, I have been using this format. So most of uh, uh, most of those WordPress designers are also using this format. So I think WordPress developers team can I think can uh, simplify this or uh, setting options uh, by default. They can set this post name as the default URL option instead of this plain one okay and subsequent this privacy policy especially for e-commerce websites where users need to uh, enter their account information or personal information privacy policy is very important okay by default there is privacy policy page created when you install wordpress website uh, you can just uh, use this one or you can customize this one okay that's it i think we have already done all the initial setups we have created the pages we need we have created the menus we need for design and we have created all those uh, setups we need to the to be done for this web series um sorry web design course so yeah that's all for this video starting from the next video we will be starting to design a header footer Okay, thanks for watching and I have you any questions or feedbacks don't hesitate to contact me in the comment section below or to the whatsapp uh, my whatsapp link is, is on this uh, um, in the about uh, about page uh, section about section of this uh, youtube channel okay thanks for watching this video and see you in the next episode
बाय बाय